I'm Seamus from Outdoors Inspiration. That's my German Shepherd, Petra, over there. We're off for a cheeky little wild camp tonight. We're going to head for the top of Great Mistor on Dartmoor. So uh, I know I've got a bit of tweaking to do in one of my uh, one of my tents, ready for our next uh, our next wild camp. It's going to be a cold evening. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a starry evening. Let's see what the weather brings for us. Anyway, you're going to join us. Come on then. So this is Great Mist Tour. The rock on Dartmoor is predominantly granite. And through freezing and thawing, and freezing and thawing, the rock has shattered and weathered and splintered into what we see today as the granite tours topping out the hills on Dartmoor. A phenomenal landscape, a prehistoric landscape. It's great, it's my home. <laughs> so we found our pitch for the night. I don't normally film pitching the tent. Well, I do, but I do it on, um... oh, hello, Petra. <laughs> I normally film it on time warp, so it's all speeded up. But I think for tonight, I'll, um, I'll just go through the pitching of this tent. It's a Hilleberg Solo, um, and it's a freestanding structure, three poles. Uh, let's have a look at it as it goes up. Good girl. If you watch my video uh, on uh, tips for wild camping with dogs, you'll see that I always advocate having some sort of mat that you train the dog to recognise. So it's got a sense of place. It knows it's home inside the tent. And um, I don't mind her coming in as long as she's dry. I'm going to make this little space for her here. with her new blanket. When she sticks to it and doesn't try pinching my sleeping bag for the night. Come on then, Petra. Good girl. has been formed by erosion where it's found itself a softer piece of granite and exploited it over thousands of years. It's a nice little drinking bowl for Petra mind you. Hello. 
Good girl. We got visitors, Petra. <laughs> What you got? Have you found him? <laughs> Good girl, go show me him. What you got? You found him? You found some people? <laughs> Good girl, go show me. Hello. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> Clever girl. I did a recent video about stoves and how you make your selection or how I make my selection for the stoves that I like to use. Um, I spoke about gas when it starts to get sluggish in the cold for a canister top stove. And I just thought I'd demonstrate it. I brought out a partially used canister tonight. There's about a quarter of it left in here. And I left it out in the cold. Um, and I'm going to fire it up and try and boil a pan of water. Now, this is a winter mixture. So it's got isobutane and propane, and they've got much, much lower boiling off temperatures, that's to say when they'll evaporate. And that's mixed in that way to give you some kind of additional winter capability. But even still, I think it's going to struggle a little bit. Let's have a little look. Now, I haven't used a windshield, um, and I'm right out of the breeze, and yet you can still see that the flame is affected by the in fact it hasn't got a windshield and that can reduce your burning capacity quite significantly so windshields are very important things and factors to consider in your cooking system so there we go it's a little while later and uh, we're still going <laughs> just about to boil but the flame is definitely slowing down and there's a number of factors one that it's lo running low on gas but it's running lower and lower because i'm not using it in a fuel efficient way the gas canister is uninsulated and it's about to run out i think but we do have a boiling pan for our supper so that's not a bad thing excellent I was a bit skeptical as to whether this tent was suitable to bring a German Shepherd into. I mean, we've got two-man tents and TP tents, and um, even the uh, even the Acto is quite a large uh, size inside and large vestibule. But this Solo is doing quite well. If I've got space for a German Shepherd and me and our kit, uh, we're fine. It's quite bitter out tonight. Uh, strong northerly breeze and very cold well cold for the time of year anyway so time for a hot chocolate i think ah yes pocket rocket 2 <laughs> that reminds me i've got a brand new one boxed up ready to go as a giveaway on this channel um if you want to take part in that i've got a draw uh, next week so the draw is going to take place uh after wednesday night that's the last day of the month and i will announce the winner on thursday uh, next Thursday the 1st of October and I'll do that on our outdoors inspiration outdoor essentials session uh, which will be on Thursday evening so uh, good luck for everybody that subscribed for that um, but uh, if you haven't already I'll put a link in the description below and uh, have a look at that and that'll tell you how you could win a MSR pocket rocket 2 meanwhile I'm going to use this MSR pocket rocket 2 to boil myself a nice hot chocolate and tuck up for the night, I think.
that about wraps things up, I guess. It was just a quick night out in the uh, in the Hilleberg Solo. I quite enjoyed that tent last night. I found there was a lot more space in there than I thought there was going to be uh, for both Petra and I. What a cold night. But once we zipped up the inner um, and uh, got snuggled into our down bag, uh, I say ours, my down bag. Petra got her bed. Uh, <laughs> she's not getting the down bag. It was quite a warm night in the end for us. Uh, but woke up this morning and it was still chilly outside. I'm... <laughs> I'm not monetized or sponsored in any way. I just do this to share information and uh, the joys of Dartmoor with people. So uh, if you feel like it, please subscribe to the channel. There's a button down there somewhere. Uh, Petra and I would both appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks ever so much, folks. We'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, Thursday nights is our Outdoors Inspiration Outdoor Essentials Night, where we'll be talking through skills and equipment um, throughout the coming months. Uh, so join us on Thursday for that. This Thursday, don't forget, I'll be uh, announcing the winner of the draw for the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. And if you want to know how to enter that draw between now and uh, the end of next Wednesday, because uh, that's when the draw shuts, is on the end of the month, uh, have a look. I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description below for a video. Uh, have a look at that on how to win the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Meanwhile, we better get home, haven't we? Yes, I think so. No, we're not having licking. <laughs> I've seen what you did with that sheep poo. Right, we're off, folks. Take care. Bye-bye. Onwards and upwards. Up, up. Up, up. Good girl.